when clients getting their homes prepped for sale, I got to tell you, no, no two listings are the same. I've encountered everything in my 15 years in real estate from, you know, a V8 engine on a stand being worked on in the dining room to I had another client that was uh, really into penny auctions and, and literally had a mound of MacBook Pros, gift cards, game systems, whatever you can think of. And he was like, actually, I think he told me he was like number one in the world at winning these these penny auctions. And he did that for a while. Um, you know, I've encountered other houses that are just absolutely gross inside and I've got other houses where like my stager goes in and says wow there's there's nothing to do the, these houses are absolutely perfect you know and so every house is a little bit different um, every client is a little bit different every you know the way that you know I have to engage with with that particular seller when listing their home for sale when first looking at it um, you know sometimes you got to be a little bit gentle and other people are like hey give it to me you know <laughs> what do I gotta do you know and I find 90% of the time most people know what it is they have to do to get their home prepped for sale you know at the end of the day we know that you know it's declutter uh, that is the biggest thing for most people um, but it's always you know it's always interesting and I always find I'm always amazed and amused you know every house is a little bit different you know I've I've dealt with, dealt with houses that are tenanted I've dealt with houses that are vacant you know every house has its own set of unique challenges that you overcome when you when you get it listed for sale so um, you know if you'd like a copy of my uh, seller checklist uh, feel free to shoot me a DM and I'm happy to get that over to you